a review of the BT20A mini amplifier. Um, I'm using this to power a couple of Polk outdoor speakers um, and to connect directly by Bluetooth so that I can have sound in my backyard. I uh, wanted to compare this to the BT30A unit, which I have right here. Um, main differences between this is, are the power output um, and then the fact that the 30A uh, supports input of a subwoofer. Um, this unit is rated at 50 watts. The 20A is rated at 100 watts, which I do slightly notice when the volume's turned up quite a bit, but overall both provide ample power to the speakers that I'm at least in the normal power range I'm looking for. A um, couple points of feedback for both of these. They're, they're well-built units. They, they feel solid. The this knob has a little bit of a click to it um, as you as you turn it left to right for the volume. Both have bass and treble controls and a power on off switch, similar for the BT20A. Bluetooth quality seems similar among the units. Both, I believe, are 4.2 Bluetooth. Um, a couple of uh, negative points for both of these units. I bought a Amazon Basics 14 gauge speaker wire to connect these to my outdoor speakers. Speaker wire is great, but it's pretty thick, and I wasn't able to get uh, all of the speaker wire into the small connector points at the back of this unit. But the actual holes where the connection is is quite small. You can see it there. So I would probably recommend getting some banana plugs to connect these with. Um, overall, great little units. They both look good. They're not this big, obtrusive, hard-to-use device with an on-off switch. Um, another main point of difference is the way that they handle incoming connections. Um, the BT20A unit here um, automatically defaults to Bluetooth. So if your phone or whatever is connected to Bluetooth on this unit, it will automatically switch to the Bluetooth input. In order to accept an in, uh, incoming connection from a RCA input, the red and white connections on the back here, um, you have to actually disconnect Bluetooth in order for it to accept that connection. So there's no switch on this unit, and the only way to um, get that is by disconnecting the Bluetooth. This unit's a little different. Um, the, the main thing here is that there is a physical switch on the back, right here, right underneath the antenna. It's kind of hard to get to, um, but this switches between Bluetooth and the aux input. So um, really uh, a little bit simpler from a a standpoint of um, not being able to figure out why the audio is not coming through on your aux connection but if you have a bluetooth device connected that's that's the problem for this one um, overall both great units recommend them both highly um, so yeah hope you enjoy thanks